Hey guys, this is a quick demonstration on how to bypass Apple's iOS 7 activation screen which requires the original owner's Apple ID to basically use the phone. So here it goes. Slide, select your language, select the country you're from, uh, choose a Wi-Fi network, and it's going to ask you to activate, okay? And then we don't know the code so we're going to hit next and it's going to just say didn't work so we hit OK on that then what you're gonna do is click the home button once click on emergency call okay dial one one two okay then you're gonna press call hit the home button twice okay screen will turn off then you press the home button again slide now you're in contacts now what you want to do is press the home button three times which will activate the the voice command which speaks you know anything that you're selecting so you tap the button three times it's called voiceover I believe one two three voiceover on voiceover is on you look select one of the contacts okay. any contact okay. or you can create one double click it click on, go to block, block this caller double click Alert. on block this caller click on contact. block contact button. double click on that Block this caller. Do it block a couple times. Alert. You block contact. Do it again. Button. Do block it a few times. Alert. You block contact. Button. Do it a few Alert. times. Block this caller. Alert. Block contact. Button. Block this call. Block this caller. Alert. Block contact. Button. Le block this caller. Alert. Block contact. Button. Emer three of three Wi-Fi bars. All okay. rows one to. Let's go no try game. the other contact. It's a little block tricky, this but. Alert. Block contact. Button. Keep. Block this caller. Alert. You will not receive phone calls. Gem block this caller. Alert. You will not receive phone calls. Message. There it Messages. goes. See that? Double tap to open. Now, one, two, three. Voice over off. Now we are in the phone. See that? We are in the phone. It actually worked. So I just bypassed Apple's activation screen. Now one thing you guys gotta know that uh, a lot of the apps here are disabled they don't let you use the app but uh, you can use FaceTime and you can go into your phone you can go into the contacts now what I think is this will provide an opportunity for developers to insert some sort of a jailbreak or some type of uh, injection that will go ahead and re-enable all of this stuff and then you can go ahead and remove the iCloud account but this does definitely give you access to the phone itself there it is. There's the phone, you know, in its entirety. So, um, yeah, that's just a quick demonstration. And thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. All right.